Well, let's see what I got today. I put in a Coternix egg up here at the top to show you scale. And this is how each and every one of them arrived. Each one was individually wrapped. These are Chinese painted quail eggs, also known as king quail or button quail. So a friend of mine sent these to me. I had mentioned that I missed my buttons and she had just lost one and couldn't find anybody local to get birds from. So she sent me these eggs and I'll get to have buttons and when she comes to visit she will be able to take home a couple birds for herself. So this is going to be an exciting journey and I'm going to go ahead and candle these guys each day so that you can kind of see how these guys develop just like I do with the Coternix videos. Um, I have heard that buttons, or I've been told that buttons are harder to candle. Uh, we're going to find out, aren't we? Some notes as I've been opening these up, I have to admit, I am not a fan of the individually wrapped eggs because it has taken me so far about 45 minutes to carefully unwrap each egg. I'm seeing patterns from it looks like four or five different hens here, so it's going to be a nice variety of hatching out here. The very first one that I unwrapped um, <clears throat> met with a mischief monster of a cat. I turned my back for one second, I turned around and she had run off with it. She does like eggs. Okay, this is the button eggs in the incubator. I kind of had to improvise a little bit because while this is a quail egg turner, it's still a little big for the button quail. This should keep the eggs from shifting around too much, and we'll see how they go. In the meantime, look forward to my updates, and if you enjoy the idea of this series, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.